For businesses to hire somebody, anybody, they have to be the right fit. It has to make sense for the business. We don't approach it like this job is good for someone with intellectual disabilities. We approach it like this is the job, this is the requirements for the job, and someone with intellectual disabilities would do really well here. So when an employer comes to me and asks, can a person actually do the job? It really just depends on how well defined that job description is. Supported employment is an opportunity for an employer to hire a person who needs some extra support to perform the functions of the job. Supported employment is a benefit to businesses because it provides support for the individual with a disability at no cost to the business. There are government organizations and nonprofit adult service organizations that provide those supports directly to the individuals at the business and to figure out what are the supports that are needed, what are the accommodations. From the employer's perspective, fit is everything. Start with a needs-based assessment. What do you need? What, what do you want it to look like? We need to list out explicitly what the job criteria are, what are the skills that we need, what do we need to do to get this position, what do we need to get ready? What is gonna help them be successful in that job? You have a baseline of what you're looking for, the requirements, your preferences. When it comes to hiring with an individual with a disability, Statistics already show they stay longer. So if it takes longer to maybe find them, takes longer to maybe train them, you, you may put that work in up front, but the benefits outweigh all of that. Anytime you're hiring someone, whether it's someone with disabilities or someone without disabilities, they are a, a piece within the bigger system, and that has to be a good fit. Their capabilities have to match what the job entails. Those two things have to come together. When they don't come together, then it needs to change because the individual doing the work is not going to be happy and the company's uh, expectations of results are not going to be met. So when you're thinking about what kind of tasks an individual with a disability can do, maybe think outside the box a little bit. What do those tasks look like? And come up with a job description that's maybe not the typical job description, but you're drawing pieces of different individuals, different employees' um, tasks and responsibilities and creating this one position that maximizes effectiveness across all of the positions. Everybody loves to feel successful. So it's so important that every individual that comes in the door that we have the opportunity uh, to work with, that they get to experience joy in employment and feel confidence and competence in what they're doing. Well, that's always our goal, is to, is to see someone progress just like uh, any employee would and, and make progress, get paid more, have more responsibility, I think that that's a really great, successful uh, outcome. The one thing I would advise employers not to do is don't just say, I'm gonna hire a person with a disability and go do it, because that's not gonna be successful for you or the person with a disability. There is a lot of support in education for employers who want to hire people with disability. One of the things that's usually a big relief to companies is um, that I'm a resource for them, that I am able to ease some of those fears and provide them with resources and um, tips, tricks, anything that will allow them to feel more comfortable hiring. They do not have to know everything. And if you're not sure where to start, you can always start by calling the Arc of Northern Virginia. And we'd be happy to make that connection, provide a little bit more information, and just answer any questions you have to help you um, allay any concerns that you have about this as a possibility.